Hari ini juga jawatan kuasa memutuskan supaya aset parti MCA dapat di takbir dan di, di, di menguruskan dengan lebih profesional mengikut aset management team yang bakal dilantik supaya aset parti ini dapat sentiasa dipelihara demi kepentingan MCA dan ahli-ahli dan kami telah melantik Datuk Seri Dr. Fong dan yang berhormat Datuk Seri Dr. Fong dan yang berhormat Dr. Uh, yang berhormat Chua Tiong supaya kemukakan cadangan uh, bagaimana aset management team ini dapat menjaga kepentingan aset aset parti. You see, the party has considerable assets and investment, and one of the biggest investment that we have is in star. So over the years, the asset has grown. Our investment has also gr grown. So as time to come, that as a political party, we should spend our time on politics. Asset man party assets should be managed by a professional group. That there should be a separation of power. But the asset management team is still accountable to the central committee, and that's the reason why they have to report to us from time to time. We 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 don't have an exact figure. People will give you all sort of figures. That's the reason why we don't know. Of course, our biggest asset is in Star, and that can be calculated easily because Star is a listed company. Uh, if you follow the market value, it could be eight hundred million. Uh, like today, it went tumbling down the share market. It will go down. At its height, it is worth about one billion, and that's only Star. And then we have our Wisma MCA. We have other investment. You see, we are a political party. We are not. In, we do not. Con intend to control anything. Well, of course, we are contributing to the growth of the economy by actively participating in the political process of the country to ensure stability, to give our input that is uh, reflective of the aspiration and the expectation of the investors. Uh, but party asset, we feel that it should be managed professionally so that this professional group will then report to us from time to time. This is to ensure that the party's asset, which is considerable, will not be abused by anybody. Dan kita sempena dengan cadangan untuk pelaksanaan minimum wage adalah penting supaya kita mewujudkan apa yang dikatakan a minimum wage council. Council ini seharusnya dianggotai oleh pihak kerajaan, pihak swasta, termasuklah wakil-wakil daripada persatuan-persatuan pekerja untuk menetapkan gaji yang menesabah, gaji yang tidak akan menjejaskan bidang perniagaan dan di samping itu untuk memastikan kepentingan termasuklah kebajikan pekerja dapatlah sentiasa dipelihara. So, gaji minimum ini akan mengikut cadangan atau perakuan daripada wage council. Itulah pandangan pihak kami, parti MCA, untuk memastikan atau menyokong usaha kerajaan untuk mencapai status sebagai pendapatan tinggi.